Have you heard about this huge scandal recently where an artist used AI tool called MeJourney to win the digital art category at the Fine Arts Competition in Colorado? There has been a lot of controversy over this event and it sparked a public debate that we found quite interesting which revolves around the question, can AI replace artists? And what does this really mean for us as architects? Let's take a look. So it happened again. Just like IBM's Deep Blue computer won against world chess champion Gary Kasparov in 1997, and Google's DeepMind AlphaGo AI won against the world's number one Go player Ali C. Doll in 2016, we have a new winner. This time we're talking about Colorado State Fair's Fine Arts competition, where an artist called Jason Allen won the competition in the digital art category with the help of the mid-journey AI tool. Alan's work is called Theater the Opera Spatial. This is a mixture of a sci-fi fantasy scene with a woman in Victorian style dresses looking through a portal into another world or dimension. As you can see, the image is truly impressive, it's very detailed and it really does evoke out of this world feeling when you look at it. There are two more images that came with a similar theme which are equally stunning, but this one won the first prize. You may be wondering, okay, this image looks great, it deserved to win. What's such a big deal about this? Well, it turns out that the judges of a competition didn't pay too much attention to Alan's disclosure about how he created the image. He clearly stated in his submission that the image was created via mid-journey, which means with the help of this AI tool. So the judges probably didn't even know what mid-journey is, but they certainly found out about it after the competition ended. In addition to that, when the judges realized what Midjourney is, they said that they would still give this work the first prize and they are welcoming this discussion about the influence of artificial intelligence in digital art. However, as you imagine, not everyone is thrilled with the results of this competition. A lot of artists who took part in it were angry and disappointed because they felt as this was some sort of cheating and not a fair win, even though the rules of the competition didn't state if any AI tools could be used in order to create the artwork or not. At the same time, the general public joined this debate calling this unethical, but at the same time we have a lot of supporters of this technology calling it revolutionary. Here are some interesting tweets and messages that people posted. Something made with literally zero skill or effort should not be rewarded over actually thought artworks. This sucks for the exact same reason why we don't let robots participate in the Olympics. The art is in the idea you want to transmit, not in the skill to draw a fancy picture. An artist must invent new ideas, a thing that an AI is probably not capable of. In any case, imagine what the horse breeders were thinking when cars were invented. The world did not end, by the way. I would like to hear what are your thoughts on this situation. Do you think that this AI win was unethical and not deserved, or do you think that this is a masterpiece and that this technology is only going to get better and used everywhere? Let me know in the comments. Now, let's see how these AI tools work and how we can use them. First of all, it's important to note that these new AI text -to image tools are emerging rapidly and becoming more mainstream, but maybe the most important ones are these three. Midjourney, DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion. They are all text prompt to image generators that take into consideration your text inputs and convert those into a 2D composite image. This means that you can choose your own artistic style or a mixture of multiple styles. You can choose your composition elements, foreground, background, colors, size, depth of field, camera type, materials, lighting, and then you let the AI do its magic. Usually it will spit out multiple variations of that text prompt you entered. And then it's up to you to use those initial options as a guide to steer the AI in the right direction. This means that uh, you probably won't get a perfect masterpiece by just entering the first thing that comes to your mind. You will probably get very bad results initially, but that's just the first step. This takes a lot of tests and multiple text prompt iterations to get something that looks good and that we can work with. For example, Alan stated that he made over 900 design iterations for space opera theater and put in more than 80 hours of work until he was happy with the result. An interesting thing here is that you can combine multiple AI tools at the same time to enhance your results. For example, Alan used another AI tool called Gigapixel AI, which allows us to enhance the quality and size of our input image. That's how he managed to upscale his work and put it on canvas for judging. In addition to that, we also have the ability to combine Midjourney with DALI 2. But why would you even do that? 
Well, these tools are conceptually the same. They're both text image generators, but the results are quite different. For example, if you put the same text prompt in these two different tools, you would get two totally different results. In general, Mid Journey tends to be a bit more creative and dreamy, the scenes have a bit darker effect, and it's not super detailed. But DALI 2, on the other hand, has the ability to fine-tune the details of an image, and it gives you much more realistic look. This means that you can take one of your images from Mid Journey that you want to further enhance, and then you can use that to feed the DALI 2 engine as a base from which it will produce multiple variations where you can fine tune the details and get more realistic effects. Now, let's test this ourselves using both Mid Journey and DALI 2 with the exact same text prompt to see what the results we would get. Okay, so before we start, I just wanted to share with you the results that uh, these two engines can create. Uh, this is Mid Journey's library, so you can just get an idea of what types of results you can get from, from the engine. And now I just also wanted to share with you the DALI engine. And here is their library and some of the works that uh, they published on the website. So you can get a general idea of the differences between the two. All right, and now let's test our prompt. Modern house on the cliff, warm interior lights, made from steel and glass, super detailed, flat roof, surrounded by trees and grass, sunset, realistic, 8K. Okay, so now let's go to Midjourney server. Here it is on Discord. And uh, in order to put my prompt, I'm going to type imagine and I'm going to uh, press spacebar and now I'm going to copy my prompt, which is the one that I just told you about. And let's click enter and let's wait a little bit to see our results. Okay, so the calculations are done. As you can see, this is our output. To be honest, uh, this is not something that I had in mind. Uh, I had in mind a little bit, you know, a bigger cliff, but uh, maybe this image is the best of, of these four. Now let's do the same thing and let's go to Dali and let's test it out. Here on the Dali's website, I'm going to put the same prompt and let's click on generate. And here are our results. As you can see, we have, in my opinion, much closer result to what I had in mind. We can clearly see the sky, we can we can see the sunset, we can see the cliff, the trees and the grass and also the materials. I mean, it's not the ideal again, but comparing these outputs with the ones that we got from Mid Journey, I'm much more happy with, with these guys, but this is just the initial step. Then the next step would be to upscale them and to make some different iterations and maybe go in some other direction. All right, so we managed to test out these tools and as you can see, we didn't get the masterpieces on the first try, but I wanted to share with you some of the work from other people who used Midjourney and DALI 2 to create some amazing results in architecture. Here are some of the top picks uh, that I've chosen from my LinkedIn feed. They are appearing almost every day now, so it's impossible to miss them. Uh, it's enough to just type Midjourney in the search bar and you'll get tons of cool results. People who created these images are mostly architects and artists who use Midjourney as an inspiration for their conceptual designs. Some of these outputs are truly stunning, not only because of their creative nature, but also because they can cut down the time needed to produce these images in a traditional way using sketches, 3D models, materials, and renderings. Once again, I must emphasize that producing high quality outputs like these takes time and lots of iterations. So it's still early to conclude if our traditional way of producing images is less efficient, but I think we can all agree that these tools are a great asset when it comes to conceptual design and opening some new design possibilities and also giving a new fresh perspective on what is possible. What do you think about this technology? Do you see this as our creative asset or our creative death? Let me know in the comments. And I'm going to conclude this video by quoting Jason Allen. The ethics isn't in the technology, it's in the people. This isn't going to stop. Art is dead, it's over. AI won, humans lost. If you're interested in checking Mid Journey in more depth, we have a dedicated extended video which is available on our Patreon page that explains in detail how to start using this tool, how to write your first text prompts, and share some interesting tools that can help you with it. The link is in the description.